Shalom everybody, welcome to another Terabyte. This week's Terabyte is brought to you by the Alma West Fest uh, tickets. As you know, they're actually going on sale as we speak. Uh, if you want to purchase the those tickets, excuse me, you can actually go to our website at h2hdi.com. You can talk to, with me or Dr. Robert Gonzalez in regards to those tickets, or you can also uh, you know, contact us. Uh, Contact us via our email, which is bet to bet ministries at yahoo.com. Uh, those tickets are, you know, coming close to an end. We're almost closing the gap. We're closing the door for that because there is going to be more to come. But in the meantime, what's coming, what's coming our way right now is for us to terrorize the kingdom of darkness as we become the threat, the terror, and the revenger to the kingdom of darkness. And, you know, I just want to say that there have been like a lot of, uh, you know, things uh, happening our way. But you know what? We stand firm in Yahuwah's name. Amen. You know, we stagger not at the promises of what Yahuwah is doing in our lives. For, yay, we are still human. We are born from above, but yet we are having a human encounter. You know, um, Abraham, against all hope, you know, he's against all odds, you know, he still had hope. You know, he still staggered not at the promises of Yah. So, you know, we want to uh, thank you for tuning in to this week's Terabyte. I'm not cutting it short, but I will say this. Um, you know, we're going through a lot. We're pressing forth. We're uh, going towards the mark of the high calling. You know, we're going to Yahuwah, who is a hidden mystery. Because even Moses, when he actually was having an encounter uh, Moses asked, can I see your glory? And he says, I cannot show you my face, but I can only show you my hinder end, my rear. But it's funny that you actually uh, think about it because the more, even in my life when I'm working, you know, landscape uh, at the moment, I'm actually saying, Father, what am I doing here? What are you showing me? Are you showing me, you know, how trees are planted, how to, you know, pluck out the roots, how to take out the weeds in our lives? Well, we have to do that and, uh, you know, in our own lives too. You know, is there a tree that needs to be cut down that's not producing the right fruit of righteousness? You know, if this life that we are to live is right ruling, you know, we have to live right, righteous. You know, there are certain trees that, you know, that are to be, you know, producing fruit in its season, but if it's not doing that, well then our master is the one that says to uh, that tree, you know, I rebuke you, this tree you shall die because it is I'm not producing fruit so that's why the axe is already at the uh root, root and it's the tree's already cut off so i'm just going to let you know that even in my job i'm starting to mirror smoke and see the father where i'm separating my own soul my own nefesh for the ruach to actually say okay father now i see what you're doing you're making me use this jackhammer today to stake it, take out the stoniness out of my heart and put in a heart of flesh. You know, um, I get uh, chastised, not in a bad way at work, but then there are people that want to, you know, court jester and try to get me involved. I just say, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Because I don't want to argue with fools. You know, if you argue with a fool, you become a fool, you know, yourself. But if you correct a wise person, he will be you know, wiser along with you. But uh, right. I just want to say, you know, the more I'm working, you know, the more I'm starting to see the Father unveil more of his hidden mysteries. Amen. I just think on him and I'm saying, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, I have a shovel, I have a jackhammer, I have whatever tools I need in order to, uh, to have an irrigation and a plantation there. I said, Yahuwah, you're showing me these things. You're showing me how to plant trees where trees need to be established in the blueprint. Well, what's good. the blueprint? The Torah. Yeah. Yeah. That's our spiritual blueprint, right. our divine nature, our yeah. divine instructions to actually break forth and plant seed and produce fruits of righteousness. But, you know, we don't want to just produce fruits of righteousness. We want to produce fruit that remains. That's what the scripture says, John. That's yeah. good. Yeah, no, so, it's true. That's why at this terabyte, I just want to say, you know, I'm here to help esteem you better than myself. I'm here to cater to you. But most of all, I'm here as a servant's son because Yeshua came in the form of a man, but also at the same time he came as a servant because he came to serve his disciples. So, you know, it's I, I can say it's interesting all the time, but what's even more 
you know, that I can say is like, wow, the Son of Man came to put on humility and humbleness just to esteem us greater. Ooh, excuse me while I think on that. <laughs> quite frankly. Did you catch that, family, what he just said? The Son of Man came and he put these things on because he had to let himself go, condescend to a low estate to raise us up to that higher place where we can intercede Mm-hmm. with the master Yahuwah that's powerful that's yeah. powerful Josh but it's 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 I sometimes I just say father you flow because I, I don't want to talk I just want to hear you talk I want to be quick to listen and slow to speak you know sometimes you know uh, I, I'm still being dealt with in my areas of intellectual thinking but I say pops and I refer to him and I say pops Strike me down if I'm intellectual because I don't want to be intellectual. I want to be relational, relationship, mm-hmm. and build foundation and build an established relationship with you know uh, my fellow brothers and sisters in the Shiok. You know that's why I said as I said it again in this terabyte. I want to be quick to listen and slow to speak. That way I can actually reach and teach and represent what the Father is saying to you. Uh, just want to end it there uh, in this terabyte but uh, once again you know we're here at house to house discipleship Institute uh, you know we still have the Alma West Fest tickets going on sale you can contact us through our website at h2hdi.com also you can contact us uh, through our email at bet to bet ministries at yahoo.com uh, in regards to tickets where you will either be speaking with dr. Robert Gonzalez or I and you're gonna be saying hey I like to purchase those tickets. Well, you know what? We have one, not one, not two, but three tickets, you know, for sale just for you. So if you... you No, I was going to say, Friday is the last day. Our last transmission will be uh, that evening. And as the the terabyte goes on and then off, uh, that'd be the end that would close that opportunity for one or all three of you. You know, sometimes you need to gather together, get them, and then put your gas money together and drive up. While you're doing your film and your minister and your witness of the love that he has poured into your life so that you could pour into others. You know, we're in the last days and uh, it's just a tremendous time. A lot of things are happening, but this is why you have to stay focused. Many are called, few are chosen, and least endure till the end that shall be saved and you'll find that in the book of Matthews and here again you you got to remember these verses start ringing loudly because of the timing of our Heavenly Father Yahuwah okay so I thank Josh for uh, the insight that he's sharing with all of you even the Maris most the dividing what's the two Hebrew words there's the two Hebrew words is Meklaka and Maklaketh so Meklaka and Black Maklaketh Meklaka I just say Meklaka and Maklaketh <laughs> and you know that's the best I can do and that's why he's the young scholar and every Paul had a Timothy every Timothy had a Paul and that's what father-son relationship is. The father and the son were one. Remember the verse, he said, why do you all marvel at the things that I do? It's not me, it's the father in me. I only do that which I see and hear. I only say what I hear and do what I see. I mean, let's begin to really focus on that pattern and become one in our intercession. You know, uh, he wants to raise up a family of sons that would wow. represent and have the same pattern, the same evidence that the Father existed was flowing and manifesting through the Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. And therefore, you and I are called for that same time. May mm-hmm. He richly baruch you. May His countenance shine upon you. Mm-hmm. May Shalom be your rear guard and your uh, your forward lateral, like you're headed somewhere. Amen. But before uh, Josh and I end, I want to read this from uh, uh, this passage You're out of Hosea chapter 2. It says that you, that you will call me Isha, I-S-H-I, Isha, 
my husband and will no longer call me Bialy. Bialy or Bialy. Okay, so Bialy, B A A L Y. And I may be pronouncing it wrong, but I spelt it for you so you can look it up in the Strong's. But that word means Lord. For I will remove the name of Baal or Baals from her mouth so that they will be mentioned by their names no more. Many will someday know his name, take his name and realize where we are, we are his wife. This is why when you get married, you take on the, the name of the one you're marrying, his name. Okay, so just kind of breeze into that and watch and we will stop the my lord nonsense my lord said this and yahweh said this right. and and all the other add-ons they meant but right. here we come this is out of uh, I, uh, hosea chapter 2 and you can read it and then i'm going to read hosea 4 and 6 and end with that which you already know but let me continue on this he says how did he know he dwells in infant infinity Wow. He dwells in infinity. We're finite. He's infinite. Okay. He thinks infinite. We think, uh, <laughs> what's that? Linear. Linear. You know, linear. Lean. See, he corrects it. Linear. So here we again. Uh, but when you get caught up in the spirit, you start thinking like he does. That's why he said in Isaiah and he begins to quote it because he's looking for a people that will allow him to work through them. And you shall think. My thoughts will be your thoughts. Mind and Oh, shield. come on now. Why? Because, yes, you have this mind. Let this mind be in you that was also in Mashiach. Yeah. Yahshua HaMashiach. Okay? And he says, he dwells in infinity, and the future and the past are all before his eyes. The knowledge of the truth has been kept from us because the adversary has kept us from learning the truth from his masquerading messengers of light. Masquerading messengers of light. Okay, now you know, you've seen them already. There's all kinds of new apostles on the land. There's the Hebrew Israelites and there are other ones that are interpreting the Hebrew Israelites and they still use the, uh, <laughs> the genetic name God, G-O-D, and then they still use the man-given term Savior, Jesus, man given term savior jesus what's interesting one noted great uh orator from the voice of victory uh he was saying 500 years ago we protestants we protested the reformations 500 years ago they introduced the j letter to our english vocabulary and then they introduced the name jesus they took away and transliterated Yahshua and Yahuwah, the Father's name and the Son's name. So you begin to study and find out what's really going on. All of a sudden, we kiss the, the Vatican's ring and say, once again, that demon has fallen. No, it just got stronger because mm -hmm. we that protested that name all of a sudden got entrenched with that name and we can't seem to shake that name off our mind because we keep using it. And we finally realized that by using that name, you always get into a crisis, you know. And uh, once we want to really restore his name, you'll begin to rule and reign as you start ruling and reigning is because his name is on your pay, pay, your mouth, the pay. Okay, now let me finish. And then he goes on, he says, the knowledge of the truth has been kept from us. Why? Because the devil, the adversary, has kept us from learning the truth from his masquerading messengers of light. My people, here it is, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. knowledge because you have rejected knowledge of his Torah, his word and his will, I also will reject you from being my priest, since you have forgotten the Torah of your Alahim, A-L-A, okay, A-L-A-H-I-M. I also will forget your children, Hosea 4 and 6. So this is what's happening. The generation today, watch closely. We're using smoke machines. We're using all kind of light shows and everything to warp their innocent virgin mind because they had the seed embedded in them in the beginning. 
mm. when they were form, being formed in the womb of their mom. But then David says, I was formed in iniquity. See, now that verse is beginning to be uh -huh, manifested in truth. Why? Because if you understand in the Hebrew, the word iniquity means twisted teachings. The G, the G, okay? And I should have the letter made and then we can show it. We may do that to kind of uh, piggyback on what we're saying tonight. But here it is again. My people perish for lack of knowledge. 500 years ago in our English grammarism, we introduced the J letter because it actually was an I. Then it, later on it became an E and now <laughs> it's a J. Okay? okay, so you figure it out. Go back to the American Encyclopedia 1940s and you will find how they transferred it. What's interesting, let me just uh, give you this last uh, tidbit here that all of you will like because uh, you're like every one of us any, anyway. If you find truth, you want to hear about it and read about it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. But it has uh, the terminology of the G-O-D in Scripture. Let me see, I might have gone the wrong way, but... Uh, if I don't find it, we'll, it'll be a break for next week. <laughs> Hold on. Well, see, I, I wanted to read it because we can, re we can go ahead and say it, the G-O-D in his name and where it came from and how it started. But it's a Teutonic term. It's a ger Germanic, German, Germanic term. Okay, I can't find it as, for, as right of now. But anyway, this is a terabyte. So what we want to do is remember, why is it a terabyte? Because you're learning from your daily bread. Everybody needs manna. Everybody needs a daily bread. Everybody needs a shot, an infusion of his presence. Because you are a terror. You are a threat and you are an avenger to the kingdom of darkness. Until we meet again, I'm Dr. Robert Gonzalez and my booze and buddy here, <laughs> Joshua Malara, a son in the faith, an elder a man after the Father's heart like David was. You won't find a better man than this one here. And of course we all say that, but he's earned that. He's earned that honor. You know, you, you can't give it to him, man. You gotta earn it. Yep. And you gotta pay the price and get calluses on your hands as you're wor <laughs> working, as he's purifying your heart by taking the foreskin of your heart and starting to cut the areas that were callous to him. So until we see each other again, Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> shalom. Even, and uh, remember, every day with him is a new day. You are that terabyte. Shalom.